excuse me. Ah, look at that. Ooh. Did you see that cutback? Boy. It was a party in Detroit, and I was the host. <laughs> It's your boy, LaShawn Shady McCoy. I played here with the Eagles from 2009 all the way to 2014. I'm here with the Eagle React, and we're about to watch some of my best moments, some of my best plays. Stay tuned. So this first play, oh my gosh. Brian Westbrook was a great, great, great running back. He was the starter, obviously. I was the backup. He goes down, he gets hurt, I think with an ankle injury in like week three. So they call my name. I'm so excited. This is my first touchdown though. My first touchdown. Let's see what happens. Gets the Kansas City Chiefs. I remember this. My guy Andy Reid. Wildcat, baby. Jeremy Magna messed up the Wildcat. I get the ball, bring it back. Spin move. Bang. Woo! Touchdown, baby. My first one, it was crazy because J-Mac messed up the timing. He was a couple, was a fake it, I run left and go right, and it worked like that. Had to improvise, your boy made a crazy move. Spin move, got an end zone. Ah, get on me. Touchdown. The best part about that whole play, this is the reaction from all my teammates. They knew how much it meant to me to even get out there and get that touchdown. Andy Reid, coach give me a hug. Says, son, congratulations on your first touchdown. I said, thanks coach. That was in the first quarter. I could've ended the game right there and I'd've been happy. My first touchdown, I almost cried. I've been dreaming about this moment since I've been a Kid. First of all, I'm from Harrisburg. Then you travel an hour to Philadelphia to be with the Eagles? It's a dream come true. I mean, right now, I'm having chills talking about it. And ever since then, man, it's been a lot of touchdowns. By the way, we won this game, we blew them out. We played against the Giants on the road up New York. And it was like a rollout play with Michael Vick. And it's where he like fakes the handoff and I go to the flat. As he throws it to me, as I catch it, I can see all the defenders coming. I ain't worried. I'm not making this up. Sometimes when I, when I used to run the ball, if it's a defender in front of me, I'm not even worried about him. I'm looking at the guy behind him, because he gonna miss. He is gonna miss. And I'm looking at the next guy. And then once I hit the next guy, I'm looking past him. And that's how it happens, so I get used to it. And this play right here shows that. This could be just the stepping stone they need. I mean, he throws me a pass. This is like a, what, three yard pass? I go past 57, boop, stop. My Twitter handle is cut on a dime. Cuts on a dime. That means I get to stop and go the other way. I get up on you so quick that you gotta respond to my move. I think you left, you gotta go for left because I'm so close to you. Once it starts rolling like that, I mean, there's nothing you do about it. That looks easy right there, though. LaShawn McCoy run out of bounds at the 44 yard line. This is the NFL, that looks easy. And look what he does. I'll toss it to you. They all go that way. I'll cut back the other way. Look Count with me, please. One, two, three. Four, five. That's six people in one play. It's only 11 dudes on the field. That's six right there. There's five other ones. Look at the jump cuts this guy makes and then the acceleration. I was so blessed to have a coach like Andy Reid. The first thing he says is, let your personality show and play your game. Well, that's what I did. There were some games where I probably should be going north, but I, he let me be myself. And who I am has got me here. It's got me in the NFL, so why would I stop? I mean, it's worked out so far. The snowball was was a fun game for two reasons. One, it was cool to play in the snow. That was my first time ever playing in the snow ever, and I'm from, I'm from Pennsylvania. But the second part why it makes it so fun is because we played against the Detroit Lions. They had a guy named Dominic Sue who was aggressive, he was mean, he was tough. But on this game, when he would tackle me, it was like I was falling on pillows, all that snow. So none of the tackles hurt. So I said, oh, okay, this is gonna be real fun. I don't know what else could possibly feel like a playoff game. I mean, two teams right in the mix, 27 degrees. Look at that picture. Snow coming down hard in Philadelphia. I can't believe they made us play through this game. You couldn't see anything. It was like the, the first part of this game is so sloppy. It was pretty bad, though. I think the first series or second series where they couldn't see the, the yardage. So they didn't know who was the first down or not. So they had to take a timeout to blow all the snow away to get the yardage. We didn't know where we were at. We was either we're close to the end zone or we're far away. I think that's Chip Kelly, but to be frank, I have no idea. So I'll say it's Chip Kelly. Look at this. Like, what is this? But the good thing is we got to run the ball a lot that game. Just going to hand off. I remember cutting and trying to like get my footing early. It was, I was trying to figure it out. It was so much snow, but then it stopped snowing. So you can see, and once that stopped, it was over. It's all I needed. And I just took over that thing, man. Nobody else could like get their traction, but I could. I don't know. God bless me that day. I said, Chip, give me the ball, give me the ball, give me the ball. Let's get to the highlights. Let's get to the highlights. And right now you see, there's a run playing up the middle. I started going right, and I end up going left. I went right to keep the linebacker to the right, and then boom, I just took it to the left side. I know I want to go left eventually. 
So I just held him there, and then the defender came up. I don't know what he was thinking. He coming in like he about to do something to me. No, you about to get scored on. That's what happened. To take it to the house for the Philadelphia Eagles. This game, it was so cold. I know I was celebrating. Touchdown to the sideline. Okay, touchdown number two. It's one of my favorites. Look at this. You can't coach this. <laughs> Look at that. Woo! They say it wasn't fast. I don't know. You tell me. You see the tape? LaShawn McCoy. And we're all tied. Hey, hey. I was scoring so much the ref is tired. Look at the ref. Take a deep breath. Come on, ref. Keep up with me. 57 yard run. 57 yards to the crib. Mmm. That stinks, don't it? Just when I get to the, through the line of scrimmage. I veer off to the left. I see the safeties, but I don't ever look at them. I give him a jab left, jab right, and another jab left. He takes the bait, and I run. For LaShawn McCoy, who certainly has gained traction. That's a lot of snow. It don't matter, baby. They're going to put me on the field full of rocks. It ain't going to make a difference. Okay, last one. Now, the game is 22-20, fourth quarter. It's still tight. It's still close. Chip, don't think this out. Give me the ball. That's what he did. So Nick handed me the ball, right, one-on-one. -on -one. To the right, I cut it all the way back to the left. Hold up, 26 missed me three times this game. McCoy with another beautiful move. Sean McCoy can't be stopped. I'm going to keep this for my kids one day. Because they're not going to believe me. They're not going to believe this. I break 26 down. Fool. The next dude is 27. Ooh. Y'all had the boys tackling air, man. 27 tackle air. 26 tackle air. 26 tackle air. 26 tackle air. That's four dudes tackling the air. Well, actually, it's one dude, but the second dude missed three times. Good math. And this game, the record I really broke was 217 yards, the most rushing yards for the Eagles in one game. And that's what happened. If I break your ankles in grass with the sun, I'm gonna break your ankles in a cold, cloudy day with all snow. So we got the win, I broke some ankles, and the best part, I broke a record. And I hate to do this, but I gotta do this. It could have been more. We called the dogs off late in the game. It could have been more, but I ain't the coach. Now this game right here, it was my second year in the league. This is when I came out. This is my NFL. He is here. This is this moment. And the cool thing about this game also is, you know, my grandmother passed away from ALS. And I remember I want to dedicate this game to her. And that's what I did. I got busy and gave out crazy, crazy work. Let's get to it. McCoy in the backfield. You got Mike Vick running the offense, doing his thing, second and 10, second quarter. They give it to me. Excuse me. Break two, three tackles. I scored. I did the bow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One thing about Mike Vick playing with him, when you run that read option, he makes the backside hole. Just enough for a dude like me. I'm so quick. I got in there. Touchdown, baby. Hmm, look at that block. Now everybody talked about my ball security, that my ball was too out there, it's too wide, but it worked for me. This game, I got busy, man. I had like 120 yards, three touchdowns, and I think this is when people realize that, wow, they got a running back in Philadelphia. His name is LaShawn McCoy. Okay, number two. First and goal at the four. McCoy. Oh, uh, ooh. Did you see that cutback? Did you see the ups? Did you see the dunk? I could have been, I don't know, a point guard in the NBA. You see that dunk? The best thing about scoring a touchdown on the road in the away game is the stands, the fans, they go quiet. Only people you heard celebrating is us. <laughs> oh man, I miss these days. This the long one. Excuse me. Did you see me jump over the defender? Listen, I would tell the lineman, just give me a hole, I'm gonna do the rest. It was a defender in the middle of the field. I gave him a left, right, and I see he's off balance. Oh, he wanted to dive with my ankles? He gonna miss. Jump right over top of him. The rest is history, though. Can you stop me? Oh, it, it, it was a party in Detroit that day, and I was the host. <laughs> 46 yard run. Let me break the tape down to you. So first of all, we got a super superior athlete like Michael Vick. He holds the back side. So now that defender would normally crash down, he can't because Mike will take it. But that's all I need. I see that hole. Arrow, oh, woo! Come on, stop playing with me. After I score, as I'm celebrating, I look up and I point to the sky. That's to my grandma. His first career 100 yard rushing game. My first 100 yard game, wow. Eagles, Giants. Giants, Eagles. One of the biggest games in football. And I remember this game right here, it was four for one and we needed a touchdown. We needed a first down, first of all. It was a tough game the whole time, back and forth. And we worked on this play all week. And I said, coach, please call this play. If you don't trust in somebody, trust in me, 
and he did. What they gonna do, four from one, four minutes left on the 50 yard line, down by one. Jason Peters, one of the best linemen I've ever played with. He pulls out, give me one blocker and it's gone. Arrow! And a lot, lot more, in fact, a touchdown. Certain plays, like if the defense gives you the right look and the coach makes the right call, you say, okay, this play may go the distance. Once I got the ball in my hands, I seen that kickout block as one man to beat, oh, he's gone. Me and him, one-on-one? -on -one? Holla at me later to the crib touchdown. Did you see the cut though? The reason why I think I was a great running back is because I could cut on a dollar. And he tossed it, I set the blocker up, one stick, I hit it. 59, look man, let's quit. I don't even know why you chasing it. You know you don't catch me. Anyway, touchdown baby, 25. Now the dance I was doing, the Sean Jackson is from LA. He was teaching me this, this dance all week. I said, I'm definitely gonna score. So when I do score, I'm gonna do your dance. I'll try to do it, it didn't work out well, but you get what I'm saying. That was a good game. We were down by one, ended up up by five. That's what we do. Eagles, we get busy against them Giants. So this game right here was against the Jets. And I remember I set the touchdown record. Van Buren had the record for so long and I remember just having a chance to beat it. I was so psyched up, man. Oh, I couldn't wait. Cause the Jets are known to have a tough defense. I want to say it was 2011, I had a really, really good year. That was like my first all pro year and everybody could see like how good I really was. And sure enough, we took off, baby, we took off. Well, that was an easy one though. I mean, I didn't want to brag, but it was an easy one. I gotta give Chris off his line. They blocked it all the way up. I mean, we blew him out this game. It was like a butt kicking. Got the ball up the middle, easy touchdown. Well, LaShawn McCoy has equal the franchise record, Steve Van Buren. But I wasn't done. I wasn't done yet. Goal line, another run. They give it to me, boom. Outside read, easy, easy touchdown. <laughs> now look, I wanted to do my shady bounce in the end zone, but it was so easy, I just said, Man, I'm done with this, man. LaShawn McCoy with his 19th touchdown of the season, and he is now number one in the Eagles record book. Steve, all love, baby, but I had to get that record, man. Stress play to the left. Lobby runs through, he misses. Cut away back, stiff form. There's McCoy. They said it wasn't fast. I can't tell. I can't tell. It's another one, baby. The defender comes through unblocked. He think he got a tackle for loss. He's wrong, he's tripping. Boop, boop, made him miss. Then I go all the way on the outside. Stiff arm and do to the ground. Then I put the Jets on. McCoy, touchdown. Then I do the bounce. Uh, uh, man. 44-13, we put a butt kicking on the Jets. His third touchdown of the day. When I was close to the record, I remember telling myself, dang, I gotta get it. I didn't come this far to come this far. No, I gotta achieve that goal, and that's what I did. Put their record to bed. So this is a great year. You know, Chip Kelly coming from college to the pros, we didn't know what to expect. And Chip was the first one to give me the ball as a runner a lot. Andy would give it to me on the run and some in the past, where Chip wanted to just run me the ball. So let's check this out. It was a big game for me, man. I think I had like 184 yards, 185 yards, a touchdown or two, and was killing. They were tired, I wasn't tired. I wanted more, I wanted more. I said, coach, I want some more. It was a play to the right, stretch. I seen a hole, I took it. It was a dude in the middle of the field. Oh, 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 oh. Made him miss, took it to the crib. What a run! Eagle touchdown! Oh. A lot of my touchdowns, the, the longer ones, when I get to like the six, seven yard line, I put my hands in there, it's over. I put the ball out, I like to celebrate. I like the showboat, it's part of the game. Showboating, entertaining the fans, that's what I'm all about. And right here in Washington, it was a loud environment, everybody's yelling, I had to give it to him, baby. Oh, hey, hey, look at my boy d Jack. What up, Jack? DJ e. Biggers is asking himself, how did that happen? What happened is you want to win with me, you not going to win, I'm going to win, I'm going to score. Selleck and Jason Peters, man, I got to be honest, they blocked, man. All that space, ah, I jumped over him again. Oh, Jason Avant with a great block. Let's go, baby. In football, man, no matter what the scoreboard says, any given time, things can happen. You can be up 21 points, and sure enough, you can lose the game. You gotta put teams away. That play right there, took it to the crib, kind of sealed the deal a little bit. Third quarter, it was still tight, but they couldn't keep up with us, man. We were too fast, we were too good. We were too young. You know, that's, that's the thing about this game of football, man. Like, it's not what happens. It's how you respond. It's how you bounce back. It's how you get knocked down, how you get back up. And I guess the Cowboys, I think, what, 2014? Thanksgiving Day, I fumbled. What did I do? I made up for it. Not only did I ball out and score again, I got the Gobbler Player of the Game Award. It's all about how do you finish and how you start. Let's dive into this game. Let's see what really happened. Marco Murray, I would have liked to have seen him throw. 
Here's McCoy, not much room. Ball comes out. It's a fumble. It's out. It's out. It happens. Deshaun McCoy with only one fumble lost all year. Now, hold up. See what I'm saying? People like to talk about how I carry the ball. Sometimes out here, out here, it might be up here. Maybe one hand, but I never really fumbled. As Troy Aikman just said, I had one lost fumble the whole year. So I lost two this time. Cool. Dallas gets it. They've been looking for a big break to ignite this offense. I was pissed. That's cool. They coming back. What you gonna do, Shady McCoy? What you gonna do? You do have to be able to pick up those kinds of- Give me the ball, man. Here's McCoy. He's got a first down. Ew, to the crib, baby. That's how you respond. You might fumble, it may not look good. It's how you respond. That's what I did, baby. Now, there's Bryce to do this right here. That was his thing. So I put up the X, and then I hit that thing off the park, baby. Red Silly, Jerry Macklin, my boys. Woo! We at Dallas Stadium. Come on now. Jerry Jones seen it. The world seen it. Touchdown, baby. All Thanksgiving. Bring the turkey to you, baby. <laughs> He was playing around with the media after the big game last week saying, oh, really? I'm not the same back. He's showing it again today. Well, you Did you hear that? Troy just said it best. They said I want the same back. Really? I'm showing y'all back-to-back -back games, baby. Cowboys try again next time, man. Can't beat us then. You can't beat us now. It is what it is. We're playing the Saints, and that's one of the hardest places to play at because how loud the stadium gets. You can't really hear the calls. It's four for one. We got to have it. So Mike Vicky makes a check and he calls it my play. Uh, it was like a um, stretch play to the right. Andy Reid loves to throw the football in fourth and one. He hands it to me, they blocked it off. The guys did a great job of blocking off. I cut shake one dude, oh, another dude, that's two. That's three, get off me. Oop, that's four, get off me. I have hot over dude. Now I should have scored, but I didn't. After a gain of 33 yards. And it should be a gain of no yards. But I got him so happy. Look, look at this move though. Ha huh? ha, look at them feet. What? Look at my feet. Look how quick they are right here. Right side, Harper's Get off, off that tackle. Huh? Miss him. Huh? That white and green looks so good, baby. And if you don't wrap up LaShawn McCoy, he will rip you. Great run by LaShawn McCoy. And that's how that game went. As you can see, I got busy. Watch LaShawn McCoy. He's going to hide in there. Well, there's a lot of highlights. Hope you guys loved it. I promise you this, I will come back and bring you 10 more great highlights from me. My personal picks. You got my word. Subscribe, hit the like button down below. Let me ask you one question before I leave. I know you enjoyed yourself with me, but what other Eagle player would you love to have in this seat and watch his highlights? You let us know.